everybody's let your light shine. I got Steve-O. Hey. I got Jackson in the back. I've got my friends and Sarah behind us in another car. They came from California. And my friend Shelly uh, insisted that we go to this pizza place all the way out here. I thought it was Summerlin, but it's Las Vegas. Um, glad she did because the place was delish. But I will talk about that at the end of the video. But yeah, I know. Spoiler alert. Oopsie. Sorry. It was good. But hey, um, Nathan's Northside Pizza here off Lake Mead Boulevard. Definitely highly recommend it. Now enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. Driving down the freeway, seeing the front side of the older Vegas. Not that I'll typically drive up here at night, so I'm gonna capture some footage. What freeway are we on, by the way? 515. Oh, okay, we're on the 515. Downtown. Downtown. I want to say downtown Julie Brown, but that's not. That's not it. Guys, we're gonna try Northside Nathan's Pizza Place. So uh, we're with friends today. One of my friends knows the owner, so we're gonna go check it out. And yeah, we drove pretty far. We're I thought it was Summerlin to be honest with you, but it says Las Vegas. So this is our surroundings. And the um, street here is off Lake Mead Boulevard. Alright, it's Halloween time, so they got it all decked out. And these cool, scary looking ghosts flying around the ceiling. So, pretty decent sized place. I guess you order here and then you just go and have a seat. So, some of the. All right, we're talking to the owner right now. He said, please feel free to film as much as you want here. So I wanted to also zoom in on the menu. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we got this. They've been around for 22 years, just so you know. Okay, here's more to the back side. Final. And I was very impressed with their um, prices on their alcohol. That's very cheap. All right, so I just wanted to peruse the front side. This is where we first enter. And uh, the ambiance is really nice because you can still like enjoy a meal with your wine and beer, soda, water, whatever you want. But you order up front first off, and then you go to the bar if you want to need uh, an alcoholic drink. And then you find yourself a nice seat in this cool atmosphere place. All right, well, Steve already cracked into half of this. Was this the Greek salad? Downtown Greek salad? Oh, yeah. Oh, chicken wings, too. The barbecue? Yes. Ooh. Um, Enjoy that. So much of that yumminess. Look at that. The size of my glass of wine for five bucks, not too shabby. So this is a personal pizza, Greek town, some kind of Greek yumminess going on. 
That's good. I like that because it's like a thin crust. All right, I'm going to just peruse more of this again. We're on the very back side here. And Marco, the owner, this guy right here, is more than happy to have me film here. And he says, welcome everybody. So come down here and have some delicious food off the strip. I really like the ambiance here. And it's, um, see, what time is it right now? It's 9 o'clock on a Friday night. They close at 10. So uh, it's a good time to come for dinner right now because it's not that busy. So they're handing us these cool anniversary 20 year pens. They've been here for 22 years now though, but check that out. Nice pen with a stylist tip there. Cool people. Yeah, really, look at this big monster pizza. Wow. My favorite jalapenos with that pepperoni and sausage. Dang straight it is. Boom. And this just in some french fries. Good. Okay, Thank Steve. you very much. You go with those French fries. Pizza's half here. gone. Well, not really. You gotta vlog it. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta vlog it. Hello. And that's baked ziti, right? With meatballs, and some garlic bread. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Apparently, this ranch dressing is supposed to be the best ever. I'm gonna dip a little French fry up in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Awesome. Thank you. There you go. Delicious There's stuff. There's more man. if you want it. Good stuff with the ranch, man. Or even with the pizza. Okay. Just saying. Hey. Is it good? It's your own ranch, man. Alright, we're finishing up here. I'm just noticing this. It looks like a tinfoil Stanley cup. And yes, I am. Alrighty, we are finishing up. In the very back is a little bathroom area, so I thought I'd just not vlog in the bathroom, just the hallway. I want to show you. Is there anything interesting back here? Elvis. I can never get enough of Elvis. I was just talking about Elvis a second ago because there was one on a scooter on Vegas Boulevard and I almost got ran over by him. So, yeah, here's the overall size of the place. Plenty of booths. This area, and then you, of course you have the bar area. All right, we are heading home now. I will do my review in the car. I just wanted to show you the outside. You can looks like you can sit outside too. They're closing up, so the chairs aren't here, but definitely um, a must visit place. Again, we're off Lake Mead Boulevard, and I will double check the address. All right, I'm back. 7531 Lake Mead Boulevard. So you're right in the middle of a strip store. So you'll see all this and all that across the street. <clears throat> all right, I'm back. Welcome again. Hey, so the review. It was good. It was really good. And it was really kind of fun to meet the owner, Marco. He was very appreciative of me videoing. Um, I asked ahead, is it okay if I do a little YouTube on this? And I wasn't sure if they were like hesitant or not, but the guy was like, oh, please, please do really appreciate we're you know we're a small like mom and pop type pizza place and uh, he would really love to have everyone come out and enjoy his pizza they've been around for 22 years so obviously they've been around a long time um, they're really good they would have been out of business already if they weren't so definitely come check it out it's off the strip it's not walking distance at all you definitely got to drive over here but it's worth it if you want to check something um, outside of the whole um, strip type atmosphere so about the food I tried the french fries the pizza the salad the wine I was extremely happy that kind of silly but I like it when I see a good cheap glass of wine because out here everything's expensive when it comes to like if you go to the strip it's like $14 or something crazy five bucks for the wine so that was awesome um, yeah oh and they're delicious uh, ranch dressing as well so Steve-O what'd you think it was great you can't see Steve-O but he is over there you can see his glasses you see Vegas on his um, glasses, I love Vegas. The, the, um, we got there. the, uh, they have a round thin crust and then they have a thicker square pizza, like a pan pizza almost. And uh, the, the crust on the pan pizza was so good. It was, it was almost, it tasted like a, like a crunchy breadstick. It was so good. Yeah, I have to admit that 
was. It was good buttery crust with a crunch. Because I do like a good flat, um, not flat, thin crust pizza. Um, but yeah, I loved it. And I like the atmosphere too. I'm all about atmosphere. I thought it was kind of interesting. So you pay, you order it right up front. So there's nobody that waits on you. But it's still that restaurant atmosphere. You just order it then. And well, then they do they, have the number at the table. Yeah, they do deliver it to you. You just order it up front, get your stuff, get go to the bar for your drink, and then sit down and enjoy your meal. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend it, guys. So uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. And our way home, this is our awesome view off the freeway. Going back home to Henderson.